Hey everyone, welcome back to my garden and today I want to update you with my indoor cucumber plant as you see this thing is really tiny it was started from seed indoors and I started it in the little double cup method just to save on space this way now that I got a little bit older I'm going to transplant this now into its own little hydroponic kratky system little glass jar system that like you see here and this thing was planted from seed on April 21st and today is already May 6th so it's already basically been about two weeks and as you see this plant is looking very good nice and healthy if I put it under the lights here you could really see the nice color on it and it has its first sets of true leaves as well as putting on new leaf growth right there and if I show you the, what the root system looks like it looks pretty good I think nice and big look at that and what I did was basically just put a little hydroponic clay pebble down there and I filled it up with hydroponic fertilizer as I would normally put in there and I filled this thing up about every every two days and as you see the roots are nice and healthy they look nice and moist they don't look dry at all if I put it against my hand you could really see it and I just simply cut slits at the sides of the cups here and it grew the roots grew out of it as well as on the bottom I poked a little hole this way it's able to wick it, the moisture up you could actually see into the cup and you see that it's nice and moist and the cocoa core looks really good so we're gonna transplant that today so let's take you on and which you might be wondering about what this flower is that's basically both of the squash plant as you see the squash it's not the female flower is just about ready to open and I didn't want to lose this is the only male the last male flower left so I wanted to make sure I have a, a little bit of pollen left so once this opens up I'm gonna pollinate it and I'll record that process and post that later so let's transfer this plant right now we're gonna need basically a few things we're gonna start with a little net cup now that we have our net cup I wanna I always fill it up with hydroponic clay pebbles this way when you fill the bottom when you pour when you put in the the cocoa core to my left it doesn't fall through the net cup and it stays nice and compact so as you see I fill it up just about halfway normally this way it still has space to fit the cocoa core as well as possibly put a little more clay pebbles up top so now what I'm gonna do is basically just the easiest way to do it would be to pinch the sides not too rough nice and easy and the nice thing is if you pu put basically your fingers in between you could take it and simply f flip it over and by pushing the sides maybe even pushing the in middle there we are it should slide right out and if you pull it out soft slowly you won't damage any of the roots so let me just there we go look at that beautiful nice root system and as you see it's nice and compact and very well together look at this and it's basically gripped in between my fingers so that's the easiest way I found to transplant so let's just see if we can get this cup out of here there we are now what you do is simply bring it in there I like to actually before I put it in there break it up a tiny bit not too rough but just enough to get the roots and the cocoa core broken up or you could simply just spin it in a little circle and it should break right apart here we go that's going in nice and easy and the cocoa core is falling inside and you don't want to be too rough because the root system is very well developed and I, you could actually see it going all throughout so you see the root system right there poking so I don't want you want to be really careful and now that that's in there just give that a little bit of a shake not too hard and now I'm gonna put actually more hydroponic clay pebbles on top just to make sure the plant is nice and secure and in place standing up straight
and just simply pour, pour it all around. And that's basically what we want. Now I'm just going to put a little bit more just to make sure it looks nice and good. And the reason why I'm putting clay pebbles on top is because I found when the plant gets nice and large and older, like, like you see this pepper plant I'm showing you in front of you here, as the stem gets uh, bigger and the plant gets top heavy, it begins to kind of lean and fall in the cocoa core. So I found by simply placing some clay pebbles on top of the cocoa core and having the cocoa core basically right in between, it securely holds the plant in place and it's able to give it a little bit more stability and the plant I think grows a little bit better. So what I did was basically when this plant was leaning over, I simply took a little bit more cocoa core and I just put it up top and compacted it a tiny bit more and that actually helped hold this plant in place. So just to avoid that, I basically have this nice and ready here. And as you see, I made a little bit of a mess, but that's all right. That's just part of gardening. We could always clean up after we're done. So that's nice and ready. So we got our clay pebbles, got our cocoa core right inside, and the roots are going to grow out right in the middle up there. And we got our, co our clay cocoa core, I'm sorry, the clay pebbles up top too. And that will securely hold the plant in place. And as it gets older, it won't, it'll give it some nice stability and keep that ready so now that that's ready the only thing left to do is basically take one of our glass jars that we painted black I already have the nutrients ready in there and we'll basically just come in and just put that in there now the only thing that's left is to put it under some lights and now that let that grow and we'll come back basically in I would say maybe two weeks and I'll show you what the update looks like and what the progress looks like. And you'll see how fast this cucumber plant grows as well as how amazing the root system looks. So this is basically day one of transplanting this cucumber from seed. And I'm sorry, from double cup method. And it was planted from seed on April 21st. Today's May 6th. So I'll see you back soon. Thanks for watching.